I recently watched the video that was making the rounds by Dr. Ivar Gia Ever, a Nobel laureate in semiconductor physics, coming out against climate change. He starts the lecture by pulling the same tactic that Ben Stein did in Expelled. According to him, the scientific community says you can't question climate change. And so, I am the champion of questioning things. Science wants you to question things, but they want you to also understand that current consensus is the best answer we have, and we have to fix a problem now. Oil and coal companies are going to lose so much money if we stop using them, so they have to make the public question and vilify experts. And they can trot out one or two unethical people with appearance of authority to appear like the expert on the subject while ignoring the vast field of other experts with the consensus argument so people are misled with a bad understanding of the climate evidence and coming away feeling they know way more than those snooty know-it-all scientists. These so-called experts also cast doubt on the scientific consensus on the topic, making the subject seem unsettled to the public, even if it is a well-documented PR tactic used by both the leaded gasoline lobby and the cigarette industry. He immediately begins distorting the impacts that a fraction of a degree can have on the Earth. If the impact was spread over the Earth evenly, he would be completely correct. It isn't, however. The poles have ten times the temperature change than the equator does, so a one degree average rise may have no impact on the tropical zones, but it will have a massive impact on the polar zones, which changes the entire weather system. He also uses Kelvin when speaking to Americans because it's harder to grasp what that means. He then really starts grasping his straws, bringing in any doubt he can into the measuring process, which has been shown using statistics to be statistically significant based on repeated measurements over and over again, which increases accuracy of an instrument more and more. But since the average person is terrible at understanding stats and model prediction, it is an excellent way to confuse people. He then talks about how the South Pole ice level has risen and claims no one ever talks about it. Well, no, no average person needs to really know about it. It's useless data that the non-scientist doesn't need to know to make an informed decision, because they don't know how to see the forest for the trees. Then he questions what the optimum temperature for the Earth is, as the Earth has no optimal temperature. What the optimal temperature for humans and the current species on the planet at the time is the real question. Our infrastructure is set up for this climate. Had we start out our civilization at a higher or lower temperature, we would have built our infrastructure and livelihoods around that. Just seeing this much BS at the first 10 minutes of the lecture, I quit watching. He is straight up lying and confusing people. He's blaming Al Gore for climate change, when Al was just acting as a public and political face for what science said really needed doing. Everything this guy is supposedly questioning has an easy counter by actual climate scientists, and a man of his caliber could easily ask them and get direct responses to any confusion he may have. Just like with Dr. Heimlich, who really started going off the deep end in his claims after getting a god complex from saving so many lives and thinking he had the experience and knowledge to step into other fields of medicine, this guy either thinks he has the ability to analyze a field he does not have the education or knowledge for, or more likely, since he's using easily explainable questions, he's getting paid to use his authority on one issue to appear to be an authority on another issue. Hey there, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw from my channel, please subscribe and donate to my Patreon. If you have evidence to counter what I say, please provide it. If you would like to see what I was doing with this channel six years ago, please click the links on the screen. Thank you so much.